of Andrew L. Boggs. The seriousness of the crimes charged against the defendant and the likelihood of conviction and the extent of the punishment prescribed. Mr. Kubright, I think I'd like for you to address factor number one. This is a first degree crime that is armed robbery coupled with a second degree armed burglary along with a conspiracy. Both of those offenses, Judge, that is the armed robbery is punishable by anywhere from 10 to 20 years in the New Jersey State Prison and under these circumstances that's three times around. So anywhere from 30 to 60 years in the New Jersey State Prison for Mr. Boggs as well as the second degree burglary which I would submit do not merge under any circumstances and that's five to ten years three times around. I would submit that the likelihood of conviction in this particular case is excellent. Thank you, Judge. The one thing I do agree with Mr. Kubright is the seriousness of the charge. Obviously the charges are very serious and for that reason when you take away somebody's liberty and place them in the jail, the proofs and you ask for a bail of $600,000, the proofs should be serious, should be sufficiently shown to the court. And I disagree strenuously with regard to the likelihood of conviction. I asked one simple question. I said were any of those phone messages bragging, this text messages or those photographs of the trophies of my client's cell phone? And the answer was a resounding no. Well, Judge, doesn't that change the computation of what the appropriate bail should be? When the prosecutor can stand up and say the proofs are strong and I have nothing to discount it. I have absolutely nothing. But I do have the ability to ask a question. And I asked some other questions he didn't want to answer. I didn't know this until I got this, that this young man was somehow more fortunate than most. A scholarship to a private institution of higher learning. So I get a letter from a Dean Driscoll from Avon Old Farm School. And the wonderful things he said about this kid. That's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to paint the picture for me, right? Because he's innocent. And Mr. Kubrick is going to have to prove it. There's no doubt about that. And today is not about proving anything to me. It's about you telling me why I should lower his bail because I just want him to show up. Him and everybody else, that's all we're talking about, right? And we can come up with money, get people's property, ask the church, ask the community to step up for this young man. I don't have a problem with that. Let them be on the hook. Let them be on the hook for this. They are so strong in favor of this young man's liberty interest. I don't think they have a reasonable bail. It's going to take a while. I don't suspect this case is going to be resolved anytime soon. This is round two.